and four this week in circuit python in circuit python python on hardware there's so much stuff going on every single week it uh it can't just be contained in a newsletter it's it's everywhere now so it's exploding we have uh, no pedro's uh, project <laughs> so you use circuit python for this yes we use circuit python with it yeah so the, the main code was written by David Stells, but he wrote it in a way where I could just change the parameters at the top so that it would match like the build that I have. So it worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah, object oriented and yeah. like easy to edit code. It's like you don't have to recompile or have any special Arduino stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's he also wrote a guide about this um, about state machines because he kind of uses this as a as a way to make a guide about how to develop state machines because yeah. uh, there's so much you know there's buttons and RTCs mm -hmm. and motion. There's definitely states going on. There's, there's a lot of one states. states in here. So we'll show this video, and it's also on YouTube. But uh, I thought this was neat because it's made with Circuit Python, and um, you could easily inspect the code. It shows up as a USB drive. So yeah. kind of good example. Very complex thing that now made easy with Circuit Python. Heavily um, commented. Lots yeah. of customization for it. For like, uh, do you want anything else? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Cleveland Pie Ladies. They made um, snow globes, and this is one of our Circuit Python projects. So these are um, a bunch of snow globes. You can see that's what they're holding. Yay! Wow. Yes! Uh, we did some um, GitHub updates. So we added more badges, we added logos, we added topics. We also verified our Adafruit repo. So um, it's very clear, it's us. If, you're, if, if the code is from Adafruit, it's from Adafruit. Hmm. So we just did some, it's not spring cleaning, it's more like winter. Uh, winter sweeping? Winter sweeping or something. Uh, Shovel in um, the snow. But we also wanted to get in preparation for um, this project, which we've been showing. We're up to 710. Uh, yeah, this is uh, how many GitHub, uh, how many stars we have in our repo. So it's Adafruit, sorry, uh, github.com slash Adafruit slash circuit python. And if you star a repo during the show, you'll probably hear it go ding. And right now we're up to 710. So that's one of the reasons we wanted to make sure we had all things in our repo set up. Um, this is kind of cool. Um, Lady Ada, you might know about this. This is from Geek Mom Projects. Oh, yeah. Um, she flushed the UF2 bootloader onto this HCC module. So and this is like a little pick and placeable or like hand solderable yeah. SAMD21 module. I think it was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo. Um, so it's a SAMD21 all-in-one module that you can program and it doesn't come with CircuitPython, but she, she figured out enough on how to program the UF2 bootloader onto it. Um, and now she can use it with CircuitPython. So you can, if you have one of these HCCs, uh, go and install CircuitPython on it. Yeah. Um, this is a CircuitPython powered LED hoodie that yeah. a parent helped out with his uh, kid and they were able to make this uh, full video code and more. Uh, wow. This is kind of neat. This is a Python powered gift for um, grandparents. So this parent recorded, recorded the children, recorded the grandkids, used the Neo Trellis. Uh, this is one of the real big benefits of using um, Python and having it show up as a USB drive. Um, you just drag new WAV files. Drag new WAV files. Now it's and, a different uh, soundboard. Once they recorded the kids, put it on the soundboard, the grandparents can play any of the little um, squares, and this is uh, of the video I'm going to show. All right, very short. I love my mama just one. Yeah, today I was today. Yeah, today I was listening to all my teachers. This is from uh, RoboticsMasters.co. Uh, they're making an add-on for the Raspberry Pi that helps. Circuit Python work with robotics for the type of robotics they want. Yeah, to do. I don't. There's not a lot of details on this. This yeah. is something we're keeping our eye on. It sounds pretty cool. It's a robotics yep. hat for Raspberry Pi, but yeah, and it looks like a hat. But beyond that, we don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, Circuit so. Python is getting to the point where we're we're watching people do stuff that we didn't expect, and we're just like, this is great. Nope, more stars. Hmm. Thanks. Oh, Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. Then there was also the um, MicroPython talk that Christine did at CCC, and I just pulled out a couple slides. Uh, they're five years in, and uh, thanks for the shout out, uh, Christine and MicroPython folks, because uh, we have boards and we're doing um, our variant, which makes it easy to use for uh, education and for our hardware. Uh, but this is where they're at, and they're launching their new hardware soon. This is the Pi Board D. Looks fancy. Yeah. It's it's got like I think it's a Wi-Fi or cellular or Bluetooth module. Yep. It's got antenna. It's got like a uh, it's the, called the I, th I think it's an M7 chip for S mm -hmm. STM32 M7. So it's a super high powered, hmm. you know, 200 300 megahertz chip. So it's it's getting close to like you can run Linux on it or yeah. you can wow. run Circuit Python and have it just be very fast. And so if you uh, of course the links are in the uh, the chat in the 
newsletter, but it's uh, called Python for Microcontrollers, How High-Level Scripting Languages Make Your Hardware Projects Beautifully Easy by Christine Spindler. And there's a YouTube video and also a regular downloadable video. I think slides on the CCC site. And shout out to CCC because they post their videos really fast. The same day. Like same day. Yeah. And well, they're great videos. This was interesting. This was a two-part post. There is a MicroPython port for the, the Renaissance. So I don't know how to say that. Renaissance. Renaissance. The RX uh, 63N and the RX 631. And we also spotted this. There's a um, STM Cit GR Citrus uh which is, I think, board. maybe based on that. It's like, I'm a little unclear, yeah. but it's like it's a dev board that is popular in Japan. Again, Renesas is a Japanese chip company, so you don't see it a lot. Yeah, uh, they're used a lot in Japan, not as common in America. Like the Casio calculators. And stuff. Yeah, the Casios and, and other Japanese products tend to use them. So it looks like somebody's done a, a MicroPython port to it, and you can uh, run it on this dev board called the GR Citrus. And then the new XB3ZB has a MicroPython configuration portion to it. This is the MicroPython terminal where you can configure your XP device. So that was kind of cool. Uh, more MicroPython and other places, getting people doing Python on hardware. And then we gave a sneak peek. This is a preview of the Grand Central. This is our new CircuitPython powered Arduino Mega form factor. Silk by Phil B. Team Miller had worked on this. Maybe I'll show that for uh, yeah, it's not we'll out yet. That. So stick around. This is one of the testers that goes with that. And uh, this is all in our CircuitPython awesome list that we keep updated all the time. It was in the Adafruit Daily Newsletter celebrating two years, and this is part of the Code Plus community that is CircuitPython. And we also have the 2019 post that Scott talked about in the show and tell. That's in there too. So anything you want to see in CircuitPython, let us know. That's why we got here and it's worked out well is because um, lots of people doing stuff and lots of good feedback. And then we celebrate the projects and the code together, and you can see that on our newsletter, Discord, and all those places. Whew. It's been a year. <laughs>